Okay, this is a tutorial to show how to download from my website using an iPhone or an iPad. I'll be using the iPad today, but the same uh, procedure, the same apps you can use for an iPhone. So the first thing we need to do before we begin, we need to download a few helper apps. Since apparently uh, Apple will not let you use the Safari browser to simply click on a link and download, we got to get a couple of extra apps to help us do this all right so the first app we need is called iZip um, you don't need iZip Pro just just look for the free one that looks like what you see on the screen it's just called iZip it's gonna be a tool that we use to unzip the file that we download so just go to your um, iTunes market look for iZip and go ahead and download that one and next we need um, any music player you just need any music player app just get any free one you find in the market i just chose this one it's called free music basically all it does is play music but you need to make sure you have one on your phone uh so we can obviously so we can play the music when we're done all right and after that um well this is just another one you can use free music player it doesn't matter as long as it's say free go ahead and download just download a free a free music player so that you have it on your phone and then uh, the most important thing we need is the browser because Safari browser will not work. So download Dolphin web browser for your iPad or your iPhone. Uh, the app is available for both. So she had that green logo with Dolphin in the middle. Search for that in your market. It's a free download. Take a few seconds to download it and get it installed. All right. So after you get all that installed, you need to go to your email, you know, because after you order a download order, you'll get an email with a long list of instructions on how to download and then a password to log in with. Now, it's very important that you read the instructions. They're long, but they tell you how to do it. They tell you uh, tips and trips uh, about how to do it. And uh, if you follow instructions, most likely you won't have issues. But we made a tutorial anyway to go along with the instructions. So first thing you need to do is just go to your email. Um, you know, you might have different email accounts. I use mail.com, you know, just a little email account. So when I ordered, my email came to here. So you just go to wherever your email comes to and click it and read it. And then just uh, go to the bottom after the instructions. At the bottom instructions, you can see the link you need to go to, your username, and your password and that's what you see on the screen now is the uh, username and password info so now at this point you need to go to your dolphin browser the one that you downloaded now there's a link in your email but if you click on this link chances are it's going to open up your safari browser and safari browser is not going to work it's going to give you problems and errors and it, you just won't be able to get your music so at this point you need to either a copy that link which is papals.com pa shop slash delivery you need to just copy that link because we're going to paste it later or just you can just type it in directly into the uh dolphin browser so i would suggest you just copy it of course it'll be easier so after you copy that link you need to go to your home screen and simply click on that green icon with the dolphin in it which is the dolphin browser because you need to run that when you download the music, you need to be using the Dolphin browser only. So go to your home page, uh, your home screen, click the green button, start the browser. Okay, so once you run the Dolphin browser, in the top address bar, just type that address. I mean, paste that address. You can do either one. Type it or paste it. Paste it, of course, is easier. And the address is http colon backslash backslash www.papals.com slash pa shop slash deliver .php. if you put that up in the um navigation bar and then hit return you'll, you'll bring up this screen right here this is a simple screen where you enter the username and password and this is the username and password you just saw on the previous screen so normally your username will be your email so type in your email and the password of course will be the password you saw in that email so once you log in there, you should come to a screen where it shows the files that whatever files that you ordered. I downloaded the test files, so I got test files in mind. But uh, basically, just click the download button once. Okay, you'll be downloading a, a zip file. Just just click the download button, and you sh it should start downloading. 
and uh, menu would probably come up saying, do you want to download us? Of course, you want to hit download because you want to download the file. Hit the download file. And a minute or two should pass and it should say download completed. Or if you see the download bar going across the top of the screen, it should be done. But anyway, to check on it, at the bottom of the Dolphin uh, browser, you'll see a little icon of a, of a dolphin at the bottom of the, uh, of the app. Just hit that that's your settings button so click that little dolphin and then it'll open up a little larger menu and you'll see the downloads button so click on that download button because we're going to check and see what what we downloaded so i have a couple of downloads i had downloaded something else for another phone and but the file that i had ordered was called test one zip and as you see it has a check mark by it, it said it's downloaded so at this point it's in our download list just just click on test one and then it should give you an option. It'll give you inf information about it. And then at the bottom right in blue, you see that it says open in. So you want to hit that open in. And it should bring up a little menu. And up top, it should say copy to iZip. Now remember, iZip is one of those apps that we downloaded in the first step. Okay, so you got to make sure you have that. Because if you didn't download it, this option won't pop up. If you look to the right, there's another one called Copy the Zip Viewer. I, I just copied a uh, couple of free iZip programs. It doesn't really matter. You just need to have an unzipper on here, but uh, I recommend just to download iZip. It works fine, but there's another one in the market called Zip Viewer. It's free. That'll work fine, too. But uh, we're going to use the one that we uh, put in the first uh, example, which is iZip. So just hit the Copy the iZip button, and what this will do, it'll send your downloaded file over to iZip. And, um, and once you're in iZip, when you hit that button, uh, it'll bring up the menu, it'll bring up the program, and it'll bring up this menu, and you want to click on the first one, which is files, and basically what it does, it shows all the files that were sent to it. So, we click on the files button, which is the top one, okay? And what that'll do is show you a list of files, and you should see test one zip. There's might be a little example one in there, but don't worry about that. I think it comes with it when you download the app the first time. Um, so what we want to do is click on, well, there's a little circle to the left. You want to kind of check that. Okay. Check that for test one. Cause that's, that's the file we want to work with. That's the file that we downloaded from PA palace. So once you check that, um, and then tap it, uh, a menu should pop up and says, would you like to extract all files? Just hit okay. That's stands for yes. So hit okay. And it's, what it's going to do is it's going to pop out all the mp3 files or whatever cd that you ordered so if you order a cd with 15 tracks inside that one file you'll see 15 files in this folder now i only download the free test file and the free, free test file only had three songs in it so this is what mine would look like the three songs that are inside it so at this point they're extracted and they're actually on your device okay and basically um if you want to play a song like i want to play this NEG, you just check it hit that check it check button next to it and if you look right down bottom you see open in uh, so long as that is checked or you could check all three and then you hit open in that'll pop up another menu and then it'll say uh, copy the free music remember free music is just the name of one of those music apps that I download uh, as long as you got any music app downloaded they all should pop up um, I'm using the test phone so I only got this one on here right now but you can download like four or five different free music apps and all five of them will pop uh, pop up here and then you just pick whichever one that you want to listen to since i only have this one on here i'm just going to click this copy to free music which is the name of the music app and then it'll go straight to that music app and then at this point all you got to do is hit that play button down there and the music will start playing and that's how you can listen to all your trash you can connect your phone to your car stereo and pump it like that you can do whatever you want or later you can uh, hook it up to iTunes and uh, stick it in your iTunes folder because this is actually locally on your device but you can put it in your iTunes folder you can do that on your own and that's about it so if you got any questions uh, or you run into some problems you know don't hesitate to email us you know webhelppapals.com that's our email address or you can text us at 202-596-5047 we'll give you help and um, so just make sure you watch the video first, try to go through it, see if you can do it on your own. It's pretty straightforward as you do it the first time, but if you have any issues, just contact us and we'll do our best to help you out.